No Brandon Ayuk out there for the uh, beginning of uh, this possession. At least I don't believe Ayuk is out there. Porter and Kyle Williams are split to the left side. Frank Darby split right. Daniels under center, hands to Eno Benjamin, and Benjamin is dropped after a very short gain, although with extra effort he got uh, up to the 20 or 28-yard line. Looked like he was going down after about a yard gain, but with a little extra effort, got a couple of extra yards. Colin Schooler among those on the tackle for Arizona, second down and seven. We'll have to get Jordan Simone to check on, find out on what's going on with Brandon and see if he's, he's down there or where he is. Curtis Hodges is uh, in the ball game. Two tight ends on the right side. As now rolling left is Daniels. He'll take off and run. He gets tripped up and dives forward, trying to get that first down. He's going to be about a yard short. They'll spot it at the 34. That's the one thing. If you look at if you look at his game, Jaden Daniels' game, that's going to be the one thing that they really need out of him. Those forward dives. You know, get print, get it, get yardage. And then get down, but make sure you lean forward to get the positive yards. That time they ruled him down, his knee hit before the yard to gain. They got to get to the 35, balls on the 34. Defensive tackle Trayvon Mason tripped him up, setting up this third down and one. They hand the ball off on third down, and Eno Benjamin bounces forward and gets the first down to the 36. And it's a first and 10, and checking into the lineup now for Arizona State is Brandon Ayuk. So. Everybody exhale and go, (laughs) he's okay, as he's out there now. Ayuk with five catches, 67 yards. He's got 67 of the 94 total offensive pass yards for ASU. Jordan Curley is in as a wide receiver, split to the right. Under center, Daniels will give on the end around to Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk coming to the near side, hurdles a tackler, and gets out past the 40-yard line to the 42. A gain of six on the play for Brandon Ayuk as he leapfrogged over defensive back Lorenzo Burns of Arizona, and Colin Schooler came in and brought him down. A lot of bells and whistles on that, but the end result, a six-yard gain, second down and four at the ASU 42-yard line. Hand off to Eno, heading left, looking for a hole. Benjamin has a first down and fights to get toward midfield, and it takes about three or four Wildcats to get him down. On the Arizona side of midfield, the gain to the 49 of the U of A, and that'll be a Sun Devil first down. That ball went wide to the left, and Eno did a nice job of stretching it, but then he puts his left foot in the ground and gets vertical. That's when he's at his best. He's, you know, he's got to make that quick cut, but I like to see him don't bounce it as much. Stick your foot in the ground and get north and north-south. First and 10 ASU as they hand it to Benjamin once again. Coming to the near side with room to the 40. Benjamin to the 30-yard line. And Benjamin dragged down near the 26-yard line of Arizona. And boy, from this angle, it almost looked like a Wildcat defender got him by the face mask, but no penalty flags down. Scotty Young eventually got Benjamin down after a 23-yard gain. Trips left. Ayuk is in the slot of the three. So you've got Darby wide left, Ayuk in the middle with Kyle Williams in there also. And then they hand the ball off on first down, and I believe that might have been A.J. Carter, the Sun Devils' backup running back on the carry, and indeed Carter picking up a couple of yards to the 22, uh, pick up a five for the uh, redshirt freshman from Manny, Louisiana. That's a good call by Rob Lykins. Showed trips to the left side, ran it to the right. Do the opposite of what's expected. Opposite George, huh? Opposite. A.J. Carter stays in there, gets the handoff once again. A.J. Carter going to be dropped after a short gain as Trayvon Mason, the 310-pound defensive tackle out of Arlington, Texas, made the stop. The advance to the 21-yard line. It sets up a third down and four as the Sun Devils have uh, chewed up uh, nearly the first four minutes of the second half. Timeout for an injured defensive player. We have a Wildcat player shaken up, and it's Mikey Irving, a redshirt freshman defensive tackle from Calabasas, California. So uh, the Arizona training staff out to have a look at Irving as the Sun Devils will be facing a third and four. The Sun Devils have run uh, eight plays in this drive. They've all been running plays. 
What's interesting, though, this is their longest drive of the game. I was just pulling up the drive chart. They had the drive right before half. They went seven plays. That was a seven-play, 69-yard smile scoring drive, and hopefully they can repeat it. But right now, eight plays, 53 yards. So you like the fact that they're able to sustain something, Yeah. you know, really get some energy. I think, you know, the run game, I mean, I think Eno's doing a good job stretching it, getting vertical, and – when he's running when he's running vertical, the reason I like that is not that he's going to power through somebody, but when he's facing a defender, he's so elusive, whether it's the spin or a quick jump cut. Benjamin is back in there now for this big third and five play. Daniels will line up under center Cole Cabral. Blitz. Fakes the give to Benjamin. Daniels rolls right. In trouble. Tries to get away and does get away from one man. Now he'll try to run for the first down, and he'll run for a lot more as he is out of bounds inside the 10-yard line at the 8. A tremendous scramble by Jaden Daniels as he got by defensive end Kylan Wilborn and scrambled free for a 14-yard gain that sets up a first and goal at the Arizona 8-yard line. Boy, Wilborn is right there. He's got contain on that defensive left side. Gets two hands on the quarterback, but can't bring him down. Good job. Great job by Jaden Daniels staying Again, alive. they line Jaden up under center on first and goal. He'll give it to Benjamin. Spins off one man. Benjamin fights inside the five. Fights down to about the one-yard line. Let's see where they spot it. It looks like they'll spot it between the one and the two of Arizona. Second down and goal for Arizona State as the Sun Devils bid to regain the lead here on their first possession of the second half. That was a nice job on that last play by Steve Miller, though. Steve came at the very end, blocked Eno forward and took him down to the one. Just moved the whole pile, big fella. Second and goal at the one, and they line up in the shotgun. And there are flags down as Benjamin got the handoff, but I think the Sun Devils are going to be penalized. A little false start here. Snap infraction. Offense number 73. Five-yard penalty. Remain second down. The penalty on Cole Cabral. Meanwhile, Arizona starting bandit safety. Scotty Young ran off the field. Looks like he is shaken up on the play as the penalty pushes the ball back to the six-yard line. Second down and goal. Costly one there. The Devils had it second and goal at the one. Now it's second and goal at the six. ASU has 74 yards rushing on this drive. They only had 52 yards rushing the entire first half. Good job. Good stat, Jordan. Daniels will line up under center once again with receivers to either side. He'll give it to Benjamin heading left. Benjamin into the end zone. Touchdown, Devils. The man who scored the game-winning touchdown in the Territorial Cup victory in Tucson last year gives Arizona State the lead in the third quarter this year here at Sun Devil Stadium. For Eno Benjamin, it is his ninth rushing touchdown of the year and his 11th overall score of 2019. Remember how Scotty Young ran off a couple of plays ago? He was replaced by Christian Young, and Eno Benjamin was able to Run right through the tackle of Christian Young for the touchdown. A tremendous drive on the ground for Arizona State as the extra point by Christian Zendejas makes it a 13-7 ball game in favor of ASU as the Sun Devils chewed up the first five and a half minutes of the second half on that ground-oriented drive to pay dirt. And they've got the lead now with 9.30 to go in the third quarter. Timeout on the Sun Devil Radio Network. 